I thought about getting divorced on the day I got married. Yadin's anguish began many years before he married, the distress of a teenage boy who feels differently from his classmates, but who cannot name what sets him apart. I knew nothing about homosexuality. I was attracted to men and it scared me. Rabbis I consulted with told me that once I get married, everything would be fine. It's like an evil I need to overcome. Sneel was also sure that marriage would redeem him from his impure thoughts, that the holy connection to his wife would keep him away from his secret sexual encounters with men. I remember myself sitting on the floor and crying, really crying. I made oaths and thought it would help, because an oath is a very serious thing in the Torah. I broke so many oaths, and it's guilt on top of guilt on top of guilt. It's living with a lot of guilt. I tried converting myself through marriage, attempting to twist a person through spiritual and emotional force to turn him into something else. It's simply wrong. Yardin met Rotem when she was 17, a young religious woman. He was 22 years old and dreamed of detaching himself from his desires and building a home in Israel. After the wedding, there was no physical attraction. I was not attracted, but I did what I had to do. It caused a lot of guilt. It's an unpleasant feeling. It's not cool to live six years with someone who's not attracted to you. I got my share of disappointments. The open, soft girl that I was became bruised, and to this day, I am trying to recover. I told myself, after the first child, I'll succeed in changing. But it didn't happen. She asked me if I had any experiences with men during our relationship. I didn't want to lie. I believed it would be okay, that I would tell her and we would figure out how to resolve it. And then I told her, and she slapped me, like in the movies. We were standing on the edge of a mountain, and she told me she wanted to jump and kill herself. Today, I know it was pointless to try to make it work. Today, Sneel lives a secular life with his partner. His ex-wife still won't forgive him. Yarden remains religious and lives with his partner. Rotem left faith behind and is in a new relationship. It appears everyone has made amends, but no one can give them back the years lost to betrayal and anguish. Their pain has been replaced with the understanding and anger that it didn't have to be like this, that their rabbis should have given them thought to what was going on inside the house, to warn, to explain, not to obscure all for the coveted goal, a Jewish home in the land of Israel. Boys who are in this situation feel that they're attracted to the same sex and they think that if they get married it will solve something for them. It won't. It will not solve anything. Don't be lured by rabbinical solutions. Chances are very high that you'll have to accept yourself, which is fine. God loves you as you are.